Hello everyone and welcome to my weekly Minecraft chill stream. Tonight, the goal is to go to the nether and to try, if I'm successful here, to build a path from the nether through it to have a shortcut that's going to pop up at my village. Where, as you know, I've had villagers and sculptures and things going for like the last, you know, year. Um, because it takes way too long to go from here, alright, over the water, over the land and everything, to get over there. It just takes too goddamn long. So we're going to work on that this week. Now, last time around, I was doing this in the nether. I was like, oh, I'm going to build or whatever. And it was discovered I didn't have nearly enough cobblestone, alright. So, I went back down into my little mining area here, and I mined for the end of the stream, and I gathered a bunch of stacks of cobblestone. Um, and that's where we left off, okay? So, now we're going to pick it up here. And, <clears throat> we're going to see what happens here. So, PWW's cheered. Uh, he said, shout out to Snow Carl. And then he cheered against I missed his last year. I'm sorry that I missed your cheers there, PW Dubs. All right. Now... I'm being told that I have sandstone here at the spawn base. For some reason, I don't remember that at all. I don't remember bringing sandstone here whatsoever. Okay, I have some. So hold on a second. So Bubba versus at your spawn base, you previously set down a chest to hold all your blocks from the desert. I guess that's what this is. Make that chest into a double chest and put all the sandstone blocks you got from the desert in it. Okay. So he wants me to make this a double chest. I don't think I have a chest just sitting around. I think I'm going to have to make one. Here's more sandstone. I'll put that in there. Oh, I need, it says I'm going to need a bucket of water, I believe. That's This is the stuff I dropped off last time. I put it in that top... Oh, fuck. I'm going to leave it like that. Put it in that top one. Um... Wood. I have no wood. There's more sandstone. Yeah, I have literally no wood. So I need to make a chest. Okay. Uh, Beast Bod did a dollar thirty tip. Said you get to try to get a creeper stuck by lightning. It's a pretty cool thing to do. Yeah. What happens when a creeper gets stuck struck by lightning specifically? <clears throat> what the hell? I didn't grab the wood. I'm stupid. All right. Oh. Trolling is off to an early start tonight, by the way. Okay. Oh, so anyway, anyway Beast Bot, thank you for the dollar tip. Let's add that to the tips total for the night. There we are. So I need to make a chest with zero wood. There. I wasted wood, but who cares? Oh, shit. Okay. Now, what am I putting in here? All of my sandstone. Okay. Set aside a water bucket. A stack of torches. Well, I only have 32. Well, I I guess I can just put them all in there. Okay. All your redstone blocks, they are in there. And ender pearl. Okay. The rest of the obsidian I didn't use in the nether. The nether. I don't think I used any. Did I use any obsidian in the nether? Where is the obsidian? What happened to the obsidian? Here it is. Okay, obsidian. Some dirt and what iron I have after I finish crafting what materials I want for iron gear. <clears throat> I'll just grab the iron for now. Some dirt. Okay, here's some dirt. 
I also recommend starting to keep an iron axe, pick, and shovel on you in your hot bar. An iron axe. Hold on, it's an iron pick. Uh. I had a shovel. But it's stone, not iron. Get those out of here. So let's keep reading what he has to say here. He says... Keep an iron axe pick and shovel on you in your hot bar, especially when mining and adventuring. Those Not using proper tools for the proper block or using inferior materials will slow you down and try to stay away from stone tools. I might want it to need to mine more iron more often. So, I need to make an iron shovel and an iron axe. Okay. All right. Um, well, I have the iron. What I need are sticks, but I thought I have any loose. There's a couple. Oh, shit. That was bad. Uh Okay, that stunk. Cause I'm I'm not gonna take this pick with me, but <laughs> I can't do that. If I put that down, I'm fucked, right? No, I don't have any more sticks. So again I need to make more. Hello Akim Toto, how's it going tonight? Alright, a few shout outs. Um PW Dubs Tree said, I've got to be a more positive chat member again. All right, thank you very much for that, PW Dubs. Colden Goltz, give me a dollar thirty. Thank you, Colden Goltz, for a dollar thirty tip. I'm trying to sound like Golden Colts, although I doubt that that's really Golden Colts, because why wouldn't he use his real name? Uh, Mr. Bob Vera Cheer said, The ice goes in there too. I forgot about that. I don't remember where the ice is. I guess we'll have to find that out. Um, Philly Bug says, I read an article last year in the UK between 33 and 50% of game sales of physical copies. Do you think most major games this year, maybe in the consoles, will be pushed back to 2021? I don't know. Lex Pro and my blunt cheers. So can we get a shout out for everyone with a birthday today? Yes. Hippo, Hippo, to me, $1.30 he says, Was the console version of the Nether update, or are you just going down ahead of time to set up a base for it? There is no other Nether update on the console version yet. We're just trying to do shortcuts through the Nether so I don't have to do crazy amounts of travel anymore. But no, there is no, uh, no Nether update yet. Eventually, I would like to do that. Sounds like it's pouring rain outside. Whoa, not only is it pouring rain, it's a thunderstorm. So I'd best stay inside so I don't get electrocuted. Wait a minute, you guys see what I see? Oh, there we go. Through the window, you can't see the rain. You can only see it through the door. Now that's weird. Why does the window block the rain graphics? That's odd. Right? I'm good, Akim Toto. Thank you for asking. Okay. Um, now, I was going to make an iron axe. I need an iron shovel. Alright. There we go. Iron axe, iron pick, iron shovel. Good. I only have six fish. I need more than that, I think. Maybe not. Maybe I don't. Alright. Um, so we're good in that regard. Uh, I don't know where my ice blocks went. I really have no recollection of what happened. That was like two weeks ago. And I don't have a clue where those ice blocks are. Oh, they're in there. Okay, they're in there. So I need the ender pearl in there. The obsidian in there. Right? Some dirt. Iron ingots. Right? Okay. So I'm basically being told if I want to bring basic stuff like, a, like an iron sword or something to the nether just to have basic defense, I can. But it's not recommended. But I was told I could bring like a flimsy ass, uh, like a flimsy bow just in case I need like basic protection like that right there. 
Can I get some arrows? Do I have any arrows? Shit. There we go. So just in case I need it, I have a bow, right? I don't know if I have like a crappy... Oh god, I do have an eye. Okay. Well, there you go. Just in case I need it. Put that away. Okay. Okay. So, what Papa Burr wants me to do first, he says, bring some netherrack and go to the nether and try to put out all the flames that are sitting around my, my entrance area. Okay. Um, I don't think I have that much there anymore. I think that I did put out most of it, but I don't think I have any nether rack. Isn't nether rack basically just the dirt in the nether? Because I don't have any, right? Oh, okay. So, wait a minute. Papa Vera, with all this, this stone that I mined, do I need this in my inventory or not? Because this is what I was doing at the end of the last stream because you told me I should do it. So I have it now, but now I don't know if I need it, right? Do I actually need this shit or not? <clears throat> if not, I got to put it away. Um, best bot, or beast bot, excuse me, give me a dollar thirty and says, when a creeper gets stuck by lightning, they go super saiyan blue and turn into a nuke. Holy shit. That sounds insane. I don't know if I want to be anywhere near that. That sounds pretty dangerous and, and not good, quite frankly. <laughs> Alright, Papa Bear says take all of it. So all this stone, including the andesite, the diorite, right? And the stone, all the stuff that I mined last week, I should take all this, right? Alright, Lexapro, my blunt cheer, he said, did you toke up for 420, brother? I do not toke up, I do not smoke at all. The answer is no, I have not had any marijuana for 20 years. That's the truth. Okay. All right. So if I have a junk bone, some arrows I don't care about, it's up to me if I want to bring additional protection. Back in the nether again, finish up repairing the enclosure around the portal and building a barrier that extends in front of the wall with the hole. I think I did this last week. To help it block a line of sight, a gas might spawn in the large open area behind that barrier. Also, the small door openings you made that face the large open area make new ones that face the opposite side <clears throat> toward the large wall and block up the old ones. That way, if a gas does spawn in a large open area, it won't spot you through the openings. Last thing about the gas, when they do see you, they do do not pursue you or chase you. They only fly aimlessly on random paths, and they only shoot at you when you're within 16 blocks. Okay. <clears throat> so, my goal is to go there and put out all the fires and move the doors to the other side. Elon Justice gifted a sub to Lexapro in my blood. Congratulations. All right, let's go. This armor is all fucked anyway. I don't care if this armor breaks. It's all fucked over. So, who gives a shit, right? Let's sleep, and then let's head over to the nether. We'll go to the nether together. What was for dinner today? Uh, Cat made a Mexican bake, which is in the style of, like, uh, uh, enchiladas. Only they were insanely huge enchiladas. It was, like, normal size. It was, like, ginormously sized with chicken and cheese and refried beans and uh, veggies and seasonings and all kinds of stuff. Hey, you guys remember Jeb, right? There he is. Don't ask me what those sheep are doing. Beastbot gives it a sub to Secret Squirrel 83. Congrats, Secret Squirrel. You guys ready? Here we go. What the fuck? Alright. Alright, so what Papa Vera's saying to do is seal this up and make one on the other side, right? Well, it doesn't really work. At all. Because this shit's in the way. That's not good, because if there's a ghast here, he's going to immediately blast my ass, isn't he? The gas that blasts my ass. I 
I guess that's okay. I guess it's fine. I don't care. I'm not going to do this fucking perfectly. All right. So the fires are out. Yeah, I put out, I put out all the fires. See? That fire is there, but I don't care about that. All the fire is out around there. I mean, if you really want me to, I could put these out. Not that it freaking matters. Um, I don't think it's that big of a deal. Can, wait, can you just punch the fire like this? So I don't need another act then. There. Elon just gives this up to Ratty Bag. Congrats, Ratty Bag. What is that? I don't know. It ran away. Good. Leave me alone. Alright, that's good. See, the reason it was like that was because uh, those asshole gas had shot fireballs at me a long-ass time ago. What the fuck? I don't know what that thing is. Yeah, those gas had chased me a long time ago and, you know, screwed with me. And because of that, uh, everything was on fire. But I think we're good now, right? So I believe he's going to have me go down here now. There's no gas at all right now, which is good. I hear nothing. This is actually very good, right? Yes, I know who Alf is. No marbles or rabbit. I've never had edibles for dessert. Okay. Down the opening through the wall, build a staircase down with, with any method that you see fit. As you build it, make it with cobble so it's highly visible. Build it in the direction of the lava flow that you see coming down. Right down there. Okay. We're going to make a cobble staircase. Ready? Trying to make it easily visible so I can see it from a distance. So I'm trying to go down to that lava flow. All right, I'm here. Go around the lava and walk in a fairly straight path until you see a steep hill off to your right. Place cobble close together like five blocks apart and you cannot so you cannot lose your path. So I'm going around it and then this way. Apparently there's a way down here he's describing. Let me make sure I know what he's talking about. So here's the path I just made down. He's saying to go out this way. Over here. Hold on. Fire is annoying. Absolutely. I don't know what happened to the gas, but they're not here, and I'm happy about that. They're on vacation. Oh! The gas is inside the lava? Look at that. I've never seen that before. The gas is stuck inside the lava. It's not dead somehow, but it spawned in the in the lava. What the fuck is that? I know that's a gas sound effect. I'm just saying, how did that happen? Has anyone ever seen that before? <laughs> oh, really? I mean, you told gas are completely immune to lava. Wow. All right, so anyway. Okay, here's my cobble track, right? The thing that's weird, I guess I'm going down here. Yeah, see how there's like a staircase here? I'm going to be going down this, I guess. As you can see from the same lava flow you went around, as a reference, go up the steep hill near the wider lava fall. You can place torches on the blocks for added visibility. So I have to actually go past that waterfall. I'm going to go up that stairwell right there. Yeah, I'm going to go up that, right next to the gas. But the gas is stuck, right? It can't move. I think so. Okay, Boomer took me four dollars twenty-one cents and says, "Happy four twenty, my dude." Joking, you can imagine actually hitting the bud. That's a dub. Uh, like I said, twenty years is the last time I hit the bud. I wouldn't even know what it would be like on me now if I did it. Beastbot also took me a dollar thirty. Says, "Where are the zombie pigmen?" I think they're around. I think I see one up there on the staircase. Yeah, they're just like chilling. Zombie pigmen apparently aren't. They don't aggro you, right? Only if you attack them do they attack you. So, 
They're a peaceful... What the fuck? They're a peaceful race. There we go. Alright. So. I gotta go up there. There's a gas... Oh, shit. It moved. Oh, that's not cool. So I was gonna say I need to go right up that staircase, but the gas... Oh, God, it's there again. Am I gonna have to kill this thing? I don't want to fight it, but I might have to. Ugh. I'm gonna have to kill it. Let me, all right, let me make my path. Here, another one, but it ain't there. So I'm going up. I'm gonna have to fight this fucker, huh? It's not good. I killed it! Only two arrows? I wonder why it only took two arrows. That fucker's dead. That was good. Alright. So we're gonna be going up here. Uh, David Paul to me dollar said, what are my thoughts on King Jong-un being dead? Uh, I don't know anything about that. Did he actually die? Is it true? How did he die? I have no idea. It's the first time hearing this. Ninja Star Boom Trudy said, their size believes their health, meaning even though they look huge, they're really weak. Gotcha. Pig man. Well, this is a good path. I can see clearly where I need to go. See that? There's a pig man just standing around. Alright, so now where am I going? Keep going up the kill till you hit a short wall. Jump to Y-68. Okay. And dig into the wall to your left. Negative 80, 68, negative 84. Right here. Negative 80, 68, negative 84. And he says you probably want to put stone here to denote that this is the location of this cave for future reference. Okay, there you go. So that's the cave, right? So now I can come right up here following the stone path. And this is going to be the cave right here. Okay. Now. In Star Root says you can also deflect their fireballs back at them with a sword swing like Ganondorf and Ocarina of Time. The angle is a crapshoot, though. Haha. <laughs> Alright. We are about to dig, everybody. You guys ready? Now, what does he say here? Dig until you reach negative 110. When you start digging in the wall at this point, you're totally safe. You can go back to the chest and get the rest of your stuff. Dig it back here and dig into the negative X direction. Dig until you reach negative 110. I didn't run into lava. I wouldn't expect there to be anything. Use caution. Feel free to place torches in the tunnel. I would minimize the zombie pig man. Uh, I don't have any torches because you told me to put all the torches into the chest. So I have zero torches right now and I can't put any in the tunnel. So that kind of sucks. What is this music? I never heard this creepy music before.
Dude, this music's getting creepier and creepier. Well. Hello. Well, I made it through. Now, I'm being told I should go back and get all my stuff. Right? All right, I'm going to go back and get all my stuff. I'm going to get torches and everything, because right now I don't have torches or nothing, right? All right, let's go back. Let's go back to our, my house, grab all my shit, and come back. Now, I don't know what shit I need. <clears throat> I don't know if I'm grabbing the sandstone. I don't know if he means just to empty that whole chest. I have no clue. But let me get out of here first. I just killed the fucking thing. Where is it? There's another one? There's probably another one over there. All right. Creepy music. It's seriously creepy music. Okay, all the way back up. And now we can see clearly across. There it goes. Nice. Here's that other obsidian, right? So now, what am I grabbing? Oh, man. Papa Verse, I dug in the wrong fucking direction. Uh. Elon just to me dollar dollars is what I consider moving the mixer. No. Beast bought to me dollar thirty says the music is a Pigman boss music. Is it really? Is there a Pigman boss? Like Dark Souls, a series of Pigmen come out as a boss wave or something? Anyway, eighteen dollars a tip so far tonight. Thank you guys. Okay, Papa Virtue, you told me that I went in the wrong direction. Now, <clears throat> I'm confused about. It. He says, "Wait, that's the wrong thing." I click. You're totally safe. You can go back to the chest and get the rest of your stuff. But I don't have. Like, I guess I can get this, the obsidian, the flint, and the fish. But I don't have any friggin' uh. I don't have any any torches. I need to get torches. What just happened? I need to go get torches. Here we go. This is the night, the most beautiful night. <clears throat> All right. Okay. I am not mad at all, dude. So why do you say that? He says I seem mad. I'm not mad. It's a little tense being in the, in the Nether. I, I don't like being there, but so far so good. <clears throat> Here we go again. New Pinky and Bias that hundred bit cheer saying, "Could I be the next successor to Kim Jong Un?" Uh, I guess he really dies. If so many people are saying this, huh? Is he really dead? Yeah, I, I think that's. I think I'm just gonna have to grab the torches out of the other chest because. Yeah, let's just grab these. I can always make more torches. There's no reason for me to need these in there, right? There, I'll, I'll put more in there later. I'll make more. I just don't feel like crafting right now. I want to do this. <clears throat> okay. I'm being told he's no, he's not dead. He had major surgery. Okay. All right. So, Papa Vera, am I doing the right thing? Am I okay to continue now? Because I don't know where we're digging or where we're going. I don't know what we're doing here. Hopefully we're, we're good. Hopefully I don't need any of those other ingredients. <clears throat> of course I stepped in the fucking water, uh, fire. This is very annoying when that happens. It really is. I hate it. I'm good? Okay. What am I scared of in the nether regions? Dying and losing all my shit? 
Right now, I really don't have anything good on me, which is a good thing, but it's frustrating dying. Here's a pig man just standing around. He's having a ball. Look, it's that golden sword. What's he doing? What are you doing? Not doing anything. That's stupid. Okay. So apparently I went the wrong way. Papa Bear said to go to negative 11. I think he meant th that this way. Negative 110, excuse me. I guess we're going this way. So you know what? Hold on. Lock that up so I don't make that mistake again. Okay. In Star Room Cheer, he said, Honestly, the nether is much less dangerous than you think. There's loads of lava, but honestly, the only outside of fortresses is gas, which you learned are weak as all hell. Doesn't mean nothing. They're annoying. Gas have killed me a bunch of times in the nether. Like, I, I lost a lot of shit. So, I don't like it. No, sir, I don't like it. Okay, I'm at negative 110. Now what? <clears throat> when you're at 110, turn right and dig the negative Z direction. Dig to negative 210. So the final spot should be negative 110, 68, negative 210. So this way. Yes, negative 210. That's a long way to dig. I think my pick's gonna break. Oh, yeah, there was no lava, said Papa Vera. Oh, uh, that was incorrect. Uh, I was super careful, but damn, dude, I almost died. That was not good. There's lava there. <laughs> so what should I do now? He's bought to me another dollar thirty. so are you going to storm a nether fortress? They got good stuff. I never, I never even found one. I've never seen a single nether fortress. So. Okay. Or do I just dig here? Alright, maybe this is okay. My pick's gonna break, though. Yeah, my pick's gonna break. <laughs> this is fucking stupid. I should have had like 10 picks with me if I was going to do this much digging. I don't know why I only came with one. Uh, I don't get it, but anyway. I'm supposed to go all the way to negative 210. What is this? Damn, this thing won't break. Oh, it did. There's another quartz behind it. This could take like an hour. I need to go get more picks. What the fuck is this? going. I wonder if this was actually in, in Papa Vera's version. And that's that. Huh. <sighs>
Yeah. In Star Rune Shooter says you can have Bob Rivers teach you how to punch a hole in a bedrock ceiling where it's safe. You can do that on Bedrock Edition. Oh, really? Well, I got to go all the way back now and make more picks. See, I left the torch there so I can see it. So I have a line of sight of where I'm supposed to go. Okay. Okay. Now back this way. All the way back. And we gotta go back to the other side. We gotta craft at least one to two more pickaxes. Because that one was nowhere near enough to be able to do this. <clears throat> Why don't I build a base another and hire the pig man? <laughs> yes, hire them as my labor force. Sounds good. Alright. nice relaxing music. I love the music of Minecraft. I always have. Even in the nether the music's good. Alright, let's go make some more pickaxes. Ooh, excuse me. Uh, Polish Frog says, do you think we've gotten to the point where I don't need to go to the grocery store at the crack of dawn anymore? No. I told you, my wife works there. And she works nights. And every night she goes there, she's like, half the store's empty. You know, she's like, certain things she'll look for. She's like, nope, not there, not there. I'm like, when I'm there in the mornings, it's there. So you have to go that early. Oh, here we go. I don't need to craft any. I have two more right here. Look at that. Two more. I should be okay with two more, I think. Okay. All right, put this back. I don't remember taking the gold. Apparently, I did. I don't think I'm going to need this much nether rack either. I'll take, like, one stack of it. Okay. All right, we can head back. Ryan Masaki, what in the holy hell are you talking about? Yes, she's going to stay overnight in the fucking store, right? She's going to stay overnight in the store so she can be the first one to be there in the morning. You, you hit it right on the head. What on earth are you talking about? <laughs> uh, no, I have absolutely no opinion on anyone getting permanently banned from the fighting game community. I seriously don't know the whole situation. I don't want to misspeak about it, not knowing what really happened. So I have no opinion. What I think about the new YouTube studio, I'm pretty sure I've been using the new YouTube studio for like a long time. Because as soon as it launched, they said, oh, you could use it now. So I've just been using it from the get-go, so that way I would get used to it. So I've already been using it for quite a long time. Um, it doesn't seem to be any better or worse functionally from the old one. Everything that used to be in YouTube studio is definitely in the new YouTube studio. It just looks different. Uh, I don't know if they if it, what they, they've done is redesigned it to, to, to take less resources or something when it's running on your PC. But for those who don't know, all YouTube Studio is is when you log into YouTube and you click on like my videos now, it, sh it opens up this new thing called YouTube Studio. And it basically shows all the videos you've uploaded. You can view things like the, the data about them. You can edit the data. You can set up ads. You can do all that stuff. It's nothing spectacular. It's nothing new. It's just they redid it to look very different. Uh, and they moved a lot of stuff around, shuffled some stuff around. But in general, it, it seems to work fine. So, I don't think I really have any, any comment on that. There. Now I don't have to deal with that shit. Okay. I didn't like that hole. <laughs> Alright. Alright. <clears throat> All 
All right, so now we're going this way. We're still going. We're supposed to go to negative 210, I think it is. <clears throat> yeah, negative 110, 68, negative 210. That's where I'm trying to get. Okay. We got a ways to go. Nice pig man. I heard him. Did you hear him? Beastbot tipped another dollar thirty. Thanks for all these tips tonight, Beastbot. He said, you can create an iron golem army to help clear out the nether or use your workforce instead of enslaving the poor pig man. <laughs> I, could, I could swarm it with villagers. Really weird villagers just like swarm in and just creep everybody out. And then all the... All the all the, the gas and pigmen leave because they don't want to be there anymore and live with those weirdo villagers. Okay. So, we're up to $20 of tips tonight, guys. Thanks so much. I'll be streaming for about another hour and 20 minutes or so tonight, depending on how things go. Um, so, we got a ways to go to hit the tips goal. Not saying we're going. We have to hit it. Not saying that I'm planning on hitting it. I'm just saying, if you guys are interested, uh, and you want to help the vest goal continue, please tip me tonight. All right, if at all you can. Contributions are very appreciated. All right, let's continue. I'm way too far. I'm supposed to go to 210. Oops. So here's two. Here's 210. Here we are. Okay. When you're at negative 210, dig a hole in the wall to make a new portal. Huh? Dig a hole in the wall to make a new portal. To do it with 10 pieces, it's two pieces at the top and the bottom and three pieces on the sides. Use other blocks as the corners. Light it and step through if you want, but come back. Reason I asked to come back is in hopes that for you to get one item from the nether that will help you on your inventory problem. <clears throat> Not having enough space. This time you want to spend in another this week is up to you before you start the new build project. Okay. So right here, I should make another portal, like right where I'm standing, right and directly in front of me. Yes, I hear that noise. It's a gas. Needs to be one more width. Okay. Let's see how this works. Peace bot cheered our tipped again. Another dollar thirty. Says does Papa Bear have a contingency plan if you fall in lava or lose all your stuff? Uh, I don't think I have too much important stuff on me besides the obsidian, but I have bonus obsidian back at the base in case something goes wrong, okay? <clears throat> Kurosawa Kid, thank you for the cheer, but I'm not reading those song lyrics that you've made up. They are quite clever, but, uh, <clears throat> okay. I confused myself. So. One, two, 
three. One, two, three. Does it need to be a little higher? Like that. Is that good? Can I light it now? No obsidian on the corners? What are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. That did not work. How does this work exactly? I don't understand. Is it not tall enough? What? I don't understand what you're talking about. I don't get it. <laughs> I don't know what any of this means. It needs to be one block taller. Oh, shit. Am I even able to break obsidian with an iron pickaxe? I don't think so. I think I need a diamond pickaxe, don't I? Right? So I'm fucked. I gotta go all the fucking way back to get a diamond pickaxe now. Because I only have eight obsidian left, so I can't make another gate. <clears throat> Cure Salva Kid Chase and made the song, Phil. All right, no, I know you probably made it. I just, I, I'm not gonna sing song lyrics or read song lyrics on the stream. Something I've never done. <clears throat> this really sucks. Because now I gotta get the fucking diamond pickaxe and risk it. Which I don't want to risk, but I have to risk the diamond pickaxe here, which is a horrible, horrible thing to do. Because I don't have any more fucking diamond. Uh. I don't understand because it said three on the sides, two on the bottom, two on the top. That's what I did. And it didn't work. It needed to be taller. Papa Vera Chief said the portal is four wide, five tall. Don't use obsidian on the corners. Well, it's too late for that now. It's way too late for that now. All right. <clears throat> okay. At least it's not that big of a deal to have to come back. I just really didn't want to risk my pickaxe, and now I have to. <sighs> I don't want nether quartz. Get that out of here. What can I do? Nothing. Can't do anything. Can't. Screw. I gotta, I gotta risk it now. See, this is what I was trying to make. Two on the bottom, two on the top, but it's one, two, three. It's five tall. When he said three tall, I thought one, two, three. I didn't know he meant, oh, don't make a corner. I had no idea. That's definitely something that a Minecrafter, meaning someone who plays Minecraft all the time, would know. And that's something I do not know, so... I got fucking owned. Ugh, ow. Ow. God damn it. Ow. 
Thank you, Kira Salva Kid, for another 100 bit cheer. So, listen to this. Let me paint a picture of a streamer so chill. His name is Dark Side Phil. Vest wearing savant. He'll ban you if he wants. So, follow the rules and you'll be cool. Wow. That's awesome. <clears throat> Thank you for that rhyme. Did it take you a lot of time? Because I don't mind to say that it was really. No, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not saying anything. It was nothing. It was good. Actually, I appreciate the rhyme. Thank you very much. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, I have like no stamina. <laughs> okay, stop being toxic. All right, I apologize. I made a, I made a silly comment. I'm sorry. It's, it was incredibly toxic. I'm really sorry about that. I apologize. Wait. Okay. Got to go up one more. All right, this might work now. I'm stuck. Shall we see where this goes? Are you guys ready to see where this portal goes? Let's find out. Where the hell am I? Uh. Oh, look. Nice. Now that is a shortcut. That is a very cool shortcut. Right? What I should do is put some torches here. So that way, if it's nighttime, I can just follow the torches. This is excellent. So, Papa Vera did a very, very good job. We should all uh, thank Mr. Papa Vera for messing around with my world enough to find this outstanding shortcut through the nether to getting us to the village, right? And not having to... Uh, here we go. Not having to now walk the whole way. There you go. And there's the... Oh my God. We're at the cave. That's perfect. So now we got a line of torches we can follow from the village. If you go straight, you go to the cave. If you hit left, you hit the shortcut. That is really good. Yes, ladies, no, no, ladies and gentlemen, no, we owe a debt of gratitude to Mr. Papa Vera. Okay, standing ovation for Mr. Papa Vera for doing that for us, because that is amazing. Do you have any concept of how much time that is going to save moving forward? That's going to be outstandingly good, okay? <clears throat> okay, now. Papa Vera wants us to do some more stuff, okay? I don't think I want to risk the diamond pit. 
All right, I don't want to fuck with it. So I want to head back this way, back to the village. All right. Let's make sh Oh, shit. I accidentally put a torch down. Let's, before we have a catastrophe here, all right, let's place our diamond pick in storage. All right, by the way, I have a bunch of shoutouts I need to do. But I just want to be safe. I don't want to have any chance the diamond pick gets fucked up. So, here we go. Okay, everything else here is expendable. The diamond pick was not, okay? Mm. Okay, you guys ready? Here comes some shoutouts. First of all, Beastbod to me $1.30 and says, when's the mixtape coming out? Curse out kid to me $4.20 and says, level up. Oh, a one level up is a lava floor, Phil. I think it's a troll trap. Well, it's not a troll trap because guess what? I'm alive and I now have an amazing shortcut thanks to Mr. Papavera. I actually like, I'm seriously impressed that he figured that out for us so that we can have nice chill Minecraft streams and go back and forth and not have to fucking go on the overworld anymore. That was really nice of him. Kula, cheers that you dropped these king thing. Kula for a 50 bit cheer. In Star Rune cheers that realistically you want to build a little room around these. At nighttime, spiders and creepers and such may wander into the portal and be waiting for you in the nether at the portal entrance for a nasty surprise. He's actually right. What I should do is very similarly to what I did uh, in the nether. Maybe I should put a door there, right? In fact, I have a door. But sadly, it's an iron door, and without a button, an iron door won't open, right? Shit. I wonder if I could build a wooden door. You know, use this stone or whatever and build an out, a, 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 a little little entrance way and a door, right? I think that would be pretty good. So you're right, so that way I don't walk right into a fucking spider. Um, I don't think I have any doors just sitting around, though. Oh, I, I have six birch doors. Okay. Now I just need some... Uh, stone. Andesite. Alright, I'm gonna go build that right now. I'm gonna protect that, that portal. Uh, okay, Boomer took me a dollar thirty and says, I thought this was a chill stream. Why'd you have to spit such flame like that? <laughs> because you know how I lay it down, folks. You know how I lay it down. You know how I spit. I spit hot fire. I spit hot fire. <clears throat> okay. Keep accidentally putting down torches. Okay. So, there's all these cats. There's a million wild cats. It's pretty funny. There's so many wild cats. Okay. Well, Beast Bod just took twenty-four dollars and twenty cents. He says, "Here's to Papa Vera. Hip hip hurrah! Hip hip hurrah! Hip hip hurrah!" So, thank you very much, Beast Bod. First of all, you're the top tipper of the night with that very generous tip. $24.20. Oops. Okay. So, that gets us up to $51 in tips tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, we are more than halfway to the tips goal for the night. So, thank you to everyone who has contributed so far. I appreciate that. A uh, good time to actually check on sub count as well. 798 subs. We lost a sub. That is unacceptable. And because of that, I'm turning the stream off. I'm never coming back. I'm sorry, guys. You should have you should have subbed harder. I don't know what to tell you guys. It's over. I'm kidding, by the way. <laughs> I don't care. That's fine. <laughs> all right. Uh, Kate cheered. Basically, you're the marky mark of Twitch with all the good vibrations. Yeah, what about the sweet sensations? You know, I didn't really mean to do that. Uh, here we go. Okay. 
I only took one. I wanted two, but I only took one. Oh well, fuck it. Oh shit. Now we we block up blocks up this side. Did I just hear an enemy? Oh fuck me. Okay. So now I gotta put torches down and we should be good, right? Now I'll get some sleep. Toss this fucking flower out of here. I don't want that. Oh, shit! <laughs> Crazy asshole. Did it. We protected it. Now I can't walk right into a fucking spider. I should be okay, right? All right. Are we good? I, have, I think all the items I have are fine. I don't want this fucking flower. I'm going to dump it in the nether. <laughs> Everything else is okay if I lose. Yeah, this is nothing important. So I can head back to the nether now because Papa Vera wants us to go back. He says there's more to do. Okay. Um. Kate cheered. Oh, I already, she already said I'm the Marky Mark. Sorry about that. I already said that. Snow Carl. To me, four dollars twenty cents says you should skip your break to meet the vest goal. That is not really Snow Carl. Is someone trying to get Snow Carl in trouble? And I'm not stupid. I thank you for the four dollar tip, but don't impersonate other people because you're a jerk. PW Dubs just cheered and said, "I want to remind you to remind everyone that there's only one more hour to reach the vest goal." Well, there you go. I actually, you're right. I need to stop recording. One more hour of of uh, Minecraft.